and continuing coverage of breaking news. Tops Fox 11 News at 9 on this Thursday night. It is not a done deal yet, but the state high school boys and girls basketball tournaments are on the verge of being moved from Madison to the Green Bay area. But Madison has one last chance. Good evening, everyone. The WIAA's executive director is recommending the move. And it is exciting. Today, the athletic group's board accepted that recommendation. But as you said, things could still change. And tonight, Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz spoke with the leader of the WIAA. And Ben is in the News and Content Center with more on how that conversation went. Ben? Well, Michelle, WIA Executive Director Dave Anderson tells me his recommendation would move the state basketball tournaments to Green Bay for the next five years. Now, it isn't a done deal, but Anderson doesn't see any solution coming to keep the games in Madison. It's not a bidding war. It's not, you know, we have conflicts. We need a place. For more than 90 years, the place for state high school basketball tournaments has been Madison. But with scheduling conflicts the next two years at the Kohl Center, it appears the state boys and girls basketball tournaments will be moving north. PMI uh, and the Resch Center uh, provide the, the most uh, attractive uh, venue that, is, that we know is available uh, on the days and weeks when we believe it, uh, it best meets the needs of uh, our membership. PMI Entertainment Group, which operates the Resch Center, has not received confirmation on any plans yet from the WIAA. However, they say the move would reward a long planning process. You know, you're competing against the Cole Center, you're competing against tradition, but we're incredibly excited. It's a signature event not only for our building, but our community. Obviously, we've had uh, successful tournaments, a successful tournament experience in, in Green Bay with our volleyball tournament. Uh, quality people. Anderson isn't sure when the deal will be complete. He says the next move is to sit down one final time with UW Athletics to answer questions the WIAA still has about the scheduling conflicts. We've got seven, uh, seven weeks of, uh, of winter tournaments coming up. Uh, we, will, we will get back together with uh, representatives of UW Athletics Department uh, at their and our earliest possible convenience, I'm sure. Now, the potential five-year agreement between the WIAA and PMI could start as early as next year. However, again, it still hinges on the possibility of UW Athletics resolving its scheduling conflicts. But for now, WIAA's executive director does not see that happening.